Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Ask Amory Show. Today we want to talk about the difference between a settlor and a trustee of a trust. So you want to set up a living trust, but you're afraid that if you appoint your children as successor trustees, uh, that your children may be able to make changes without your permission. So today we're going to explain the difference between a settlor and a trustee of a living trust. A settlor and a trustee are two distinct uh, roles. Although one person can serve as both settlor and trustee, um, they are different. A settlor creates the trust and can reserve important powers with respect to the trust. The trustee is obligated to manage the trust in accordance with state laws and um, after its creation uh, and until the termination of the trust. So when you create a trust, um, we generally refer to that individual as a settlor. Uh, the settlor may or may not be the trustee of the trust. So for example, if a mother decides to create a trust uh, and names her daughter as a trustee, the mother is a settlor and the daughter is the trustee. Uh, it is common, however, for the settlor to serve as the trustee. Uh, there can be more than one settlor and more than one trustee. If a married couple creates a trust and names themselves as trustee, each spouse is a settler and a trustee. So managing the trust, what does that mean? If the trustees, it is the trustees duties to manage the property held in trust and to carry out the terms of the trust. The trustee is also bound by rules imposed by California law, even if the rules are not expressly state in the trust documents. Um, a seller, by contrast, is not responsible for managing the trust uh, unless, of course, the seller is also the trustee. Upon the death of the settler, the next trustee named in the trust document takes over the management responsibilities if the person accepts the position of trustee. And all the roles and uh, obligations uh, typically are written out in the trust documents. Right, and then the power to revoke or modify a trust is uh, almost always reserved only for the settlor. So it, as, the, as it is the settlor who creates the trust, um, then the settlor's uh, property is also held by the trust. So if the settlor also serves as a trustee, then the settlor as a trustee can revoke or modify the trust. Um, it is possible for a settlor to name another person as a trustee, as we said mentioned earlier, um, and then that gives that person the right to modify the trust but this arrangement is rare because it invites a possibility of management of the trust assets. Uh, the power to revoke or modify a revocable trust usually terminates upon the incapacity of, or the death of the settlor. So duties, what are the primary duties of a trustee? Uh, so the primary duty is to distribute the property upon the death of the settlor or upon the satisfaction of some conditions uh, that are specified in the trust. Uh, California law imposes a number of duties on the trustee of a revocable trust. So these duties include handling the trust for the benefit of the trust beneficiaries, protecting the trust property, and dealing with all the trust beneficiaries impartially. Unlike, uh, so unlike with the trustee, the settler has no such duties because the role of a settler ex extinguishes as soon as the trust is created. So if you would like to discuss uh, more about living trusts, understand uh, more about the roles and the differences between a settler and a trustee, feel free to give us a call. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel as we continue to update and uh, upload new videos. Uh, thank you again for watching and until next time.